So this is how I set up the audio. So I have an audio shot here on my bottom layer. Camera A is my camera that has my audio routed through it. So it's coming through camera and audio. And then as I add all my participants into the rendezvous um, dashboard, I add their, their shots into my audio shot and I disable their video. So Don is here, he's got audio only, no video. Same with Shane, audio, no video. So the advantage of that is that no matter what shot I switch to, I am always gonna hear their audio. So this audio shot always stays live. And if you look here, I have Shane here as a shot and I have his audio disabled on this shot. So I don't hear it duplicate. We don't get a duplicate audio there. For the audio shots, oops, let's go to Dawn for example. Here, I keep this monitor on. So this allows me to monitor Dawn's audio from this shot in my final output mix. If I were to turn this off, then I wouldn't hear it in this mix. It would still be going out the final mix, but I wouldn't be hearing it. And so that's one of the potential confusion areas is if you are monitoring your audio in the rendezvous dashboard here, if I were to be taking their audio through my headphones, then I would be hearing a duplicate because I'm also monitoring the final mix. And so I, this is what I did is that I took them off, I turned off the monitor on the final mix for this so I didn't hear a duplicate audio and I wasn't hearing the final mix. So that is how I'm setting up my audio for this rendezvous call. Another way to do this, uh, and it's just a matter of preference and I think that that's what's great about Wirecast is that you can set things up kind of the way that you wanna set them up to your workflows. Um, but another way of doing this, of course, is to put the audio on each shot. So for Shane's shot, for example, I could unmute that and then take this out of my camera audio. So now, anytime I switch to, if I were to do that, anytime I were to switch to Dawn, then Dawn's audio would be hot and Shane's audio would not. So that is a way of making sure that people don't talk over each other, for example. If um, you're sure that you're going to have people kind of talking independently and not, uh, you know, if, if, for example, I don't get to this shot quick enough and Shane's talking uh, as I have Dawn's shot up, then we wouldn't hear Shane until we get into this shot and then the audio would be up here. So that's another potential way of set, setting up your audio.